I know that you have been dealing with some health issues lately, um, and you had to work to kind of bring yourself, your sex life back. So would you talk a little bit about what happened and, and how you worked through it? Absolutely. So July 4th, watching fireworks, I was bitten by a spider. Okay. Which doesn't sound too crazy. In two days, I had cellulitis with a big kind of sore where it was, where the the bite was. Mm -hmm. Um, It got infected. My foot was huge. I had to go into the hospital and for two days have um, the highest dose intravenous antibiotic on the market with an infectious disease doctor on call. Um, So of course I asked the nurse, I said, you know, shouldn't I have a probiotic? Because I know when you take antibiotics like that, you get yeast infections and you can get some nasty ones. She's like, no, no, no. I think it's going to be fine. And if anything happens, you can pick one up. Of course I come home and I have a yeast infection. Yeah. Not only is a yeast infection, but it's like the tissues in my inner and outer labia and my Mm. clitoris were tender and sore and kind of deflated, Uh, got picked up some yogurt, and I knew Mm -hmm. I had to start masturbating. Yes. Yes. So tell us, like, walk us through the whole process of, of like what you did, because I'm sure when the tissue is tender, we've all been there. I mean, you know, you just can't like go for it big time right away. So what did you do? Okay. So I put oil on my hands and I started with a hug Mm -hmm. and then I started massaging. Mm -hmm. Cause for me, when my body has like tenderness or pain, I think our immediate reaction is we back off it, but sometimes it's like orgasm, the intensity, we move into it. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Cause I know the more I touch, the more I feel, and the more I touch, the less I feel when it comes to pain. <laughs> right. 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 So just touch very lightly. And you know, I think it's also good to like lay on your bed with your underwear off. Yeah. Get some air in there. So I'm all for Western medicine and treatments, but then we have to reconnect to the body. So I would do my massage and do my massage. And then I started with just my vibrator. Of course, I can't go right to penetration. Mm -hmm. And I would vibrate the inguinal crease, that little area Mm -hmm. between my outer labia and my thigh. And I would go around and go around until it felt really good. And there was no tenderness. Yeah. Because I have blood flow. Mm -hmm. And I know that's going to protect me. And then I kind of waited until all of a sudden I felt like, yeah, I kind of want to pass it past my clit. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> right? so the desire, like, mm, that feels nice. And I moved into it and I did 10 minutes a day. Ah, okay. Over about like how many days? And I know it's different for everybody, but this wasn't like a quick one week and no. you're all back to normal. Right. No, it was a week of this before I could even think about penetration. Mm-hmm. And how I did penetration is the same way I work with clients when it's painful for so many different reasons, physically and emotionally. Mm-hmm. I took my vibrator, I put it right at the opening mm-hmm. and I just held it there. And then yeah. I put my other hand and just laid it over my clitoris and I would breathe, mm-hmm. move it around. Of course, everything's oiled up and lubricated. Mm-hmm. Then I would take my fingers with oil and put it on the inside and I added some vitamin E. Ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oil. Right. And then I would play it the whole and when it felt nice. And then I slowly started with fingers, worked up to the barbell. And then I did everything stimulating my clitoris with my vibrator or my hands with the penetration. And Mm -hmm. I slow walked it. And then there was a day where all of a sudden, uh, week two, end of week two, the barbell went in. And guess what? It wasn't. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And did you notice a change like visually, like, with with how your tissues, your labia looked. Absolutely. All of a sudden things started to puff up again because all the blood has been taken out, right? I've had this trauma. You've had all of this antibiotic. I mean, I was getting a bag of intravenous antibiotic every six hours mm. for two days. And then I was on a week of two antibiotics at home. So right. it was pretty crazy. I have to get that all out of my body. Yes. And the best way to do it is to plump up everything is with blood flow. And that's Mm -hmm. what a vibrator does. The vibration brings in the blood flow. Um, And then I waited till it felt good. I remember the first time I like had an orgasm with penetration. I was like, all right. I still didn't run to partner six. I waited. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And I did another week. And you know what else I did is I communicated to my partner. I said, I, I'm not, you know, like rejecting you. I want to have partner sex, but I have to get my vagina back. Yes. And I think when we can communicate our needs like that, mm-hmm. it's helpful for our partners because then they understand it's not like I'm masturbating to take away from my partner sex. I'm masturbating to get back to partner sex. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and and I think, too, letting your body get ready for the orgasm. Like, you listen to your body. Like, you're just massaging. You're not going for the orgasm or wondering, like, why can't I orgasm? Or will I ever be able to orgasm? You trusted your body's capacity to heal. And you supported yourself, which is phenomenal. That's what we all need to do because our health changes throughout our lifetime. And our body has a great capacity to heal. We can't break our vulvas. (laughs) And I think that's an important point that you made, Laura. Mm -hmm. Throughout this process, I didn't have any negative thoughts Mm-hmm. I never doubted that I would get my body back and I would get my orgasm back. And I never doubted that I would enjoy stimulating my body alone and with a partner. Yes. It never entered my mind. And we mm-hmm. underestimate the value of positive thinking. You know, we're always at war with our bodies and I mm-hmm. wasn't going to be at war. It was like, okay, you need some help. You need to slow walk, baby. <laughs> like, right. I'll slow walk with you and we'll get there. And it really was two and a half, three weeks, and everything was kind of back to normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that you didn't push your body. I think so often we try to like, you know, mind over body. We try to like let our mind lead and we accept discomfort. We accept pain even in the thought that, that pain is going to make it better, that we just have to like power through the pain. And, and you didn't do that. Power through the pleasure. Yes. 